What's up everyone? Welcome back to 85 The Ride. This is episode 8. Wanji Wanji Power Station. After taking almost a decade to build, the former coal-fired power station was completed in 1956, supplying electricity across the state of New South Wales for 30 years before its closure in 1986. In its time it was the largest in the country, with the ideal location right next to the local and still operational coal mine, Myuna Pit, that supplied the station with coal. On the opposite side, the largest coastal saltwater lake in the southern hemisphere, Lake Macquarie. This provided a peninsula with both an inlet and outlet running the water coolant under and throughout the building. This place is not without great mystery, as three recorded deaths occurred during its operating years, with many more since. Apparent sightings of shadow figures, apparitions caught on camera, and much more have been sworn by many that have entered the building. I definitely encountered some questionable things during my visit to the power station, especially alone after dark. So sit back and enjoy the journey through the abandoned Wanji Wanji power station. Alrighty guys, here we are. Wanji power station. And have a go with the size of it. Man, this is going to take a while. This could be a um, this could be a very long video. Pretty vandalized. Now I haven't been here since since I was a kid. I think I um. You could get in here really easy and we just rode our pushies in here and I didn't really venture very far way back when. I'm talking um, well over 10 years ago, so quite a bit has changed. There is no windows left. Have a go at it. That is massive. So, missions for today. I want to get to the top. Um, definitely want to get to the roof. I want to get to the top of one of the one of the three towers. See if there's any um, anything that goes below ground level. I'd love for there to be some underground passages or something. There's definitely been a couple deaths here uh, whilst this place was up and running. One of them in particular was never solved. Um, a bloke was found uh, dead in a boiler room and he'd been there for, I think it was eight to 12 months or something. Um, found with I think it was uh, tobacco tin or something or other. Anyway, they never figured out who it was, so I'd love to find that um, boiler room and have a bit of a geese. I've been told this place is haunted, so if some interesting stuff happens, even better again. All right, so here's one of these um, channels that run in from the lake under this bridge and um, runs up the side of the uh, power station. We'll follow that up and um, have a look at where that goes. The biggest problem with all this water being here is there's a constant dripping and running noises and stuff. So this place would definitely get pretty creepy at night. There's a lot of sounds going on in that factory considering there's no one else here.
have a go at the size of this thing. I'm gonna go check out this shed first. This thing looks massive on its own. Yeah, let's keep the little bits of tarp or whatever it is hanging there so it looks really scary. It's like they've tried to make it as spooky as possible. We got a burnout car here. Um, being a boiler maker, I've worked in some pretty big sheds and this definitely isn't the biggest, but seeing a shed like this completely emptied and gutted, yeah, it looks massive. I can't believe this is just sitting here doing absolutely nothing. Got a badge on here. I unfortunately don't know what this is. I was hoping I'd have a little badge. Something to tell me. Someone will watch this video and point out where I should have looked, but... many noises bits of tin moving in the wind old steel racks fuck god damn old steel racks like I was saying come on guys waste the material here The old office or not maybe a little shower room a little change room toilet whatever i'm trying to say some old pallets let's have a look in here whilst we're here oh. Old circuit boards and stuff. A truck drove past us then. So my unit pit is right there and that's still operational. I um I did a shutdown there when I was an apprentice. I think I was only there, I think it was like a three or six month shutdown or something or other. And I had always driven past here. Thought I gotta go back in there someday. Just never had. It's crazy that this can sit here with um a functioning pit right there. I don't know why this was left to rot, I guess, as much as it has. Surely it could have been used for something better than nothing. I mean, I'm no expert, I don't know. <laughs> so the water runs under this whole factory. Now it is some little, um, Little runways and stuff. I wonder how deep that goes. Oh yeah, okay, so you got this old turn wheel that would have, I imagine, risen this gate, risen and lowered the gate. No chance in moving that anymore. Alright, let's keep wandering around, I suppose. There are so many access points leading out onto like all these stairwells and stuff on the outside there's no way i'm going to be able to suss out every inch of this place in one hit look at all the shoot set up i guess coal shoots or whatever got some uh, interesting graffiti around the place i can tell you that much a little wash bay or something Controls, I suppose. God, look at this old school setup. They 
got these waterways running everywhere. Oh, let's keep venturing around. Get more little storage rooms or something. A bit more in this one. Some more racks. Flanges, valves, old hose. Pipe fittings and bits. Man, so much left here. Always storage spot. All chain box and stuff used to be. sink nothing wrong with that sink all right nearly back around to the front finally time to go in and start having a look at that creepy inside all righty guys let's go my torch in my bag so when it starts getting a bit darker oh wow there are so many stories like in Fort Wallace careful of these holes if you haven't seen my Fort Wallace video jump onto it I do go underground under there inside the military bunkers and so far that was definitely the scariest thing I've ever done. Oh, as I say it, nah, that's a staircase. All right, I'm gonna need me torch. First, I've gotta to decide which direction I'm gonna head in. I might head toward the front first. Man, what's with these big holes everywhere? Who's this bloke? He almost looks like Jack Daniels or something. If someone knows who that is, put a comment in. Let me know who that is. Right, I'm going to come back to that stairwell, but I'm definitely going to tackle that. Let's have a look over here first, toward the front of the factory. Bit of plantation coming in there. Oh, beautiful. Good old whirly birds still in action. Which is what I like to see. Yeah, this has all been on fire. I suppose that'll happen when you leave something like this so accessible to the public. Not that I can talk, being in here myself, but I ain't going around lighting fires, that's for sure. Old contracts and stuff. Interesting. Old procedures, test procedures. So all their records, they just leave it all here with this sign on sheet it is too man fuck Whew. operating and maintenance manual okay love to know what date all this stems back from Bay's Water Power Station. Well, that's not this place. God, why's there gonna be so much dripping and stuff? All right, so another stairwell. Man, there is just, I've been in a fraction of this place and I'm already, eh, overhead crane. I'm not sure what this would be. Elevator, I suppose. So I'm starting to think there's not going to be an underground section to this place, which is a bit of a shame because it's all filled with water. That's cute, little safety. Protect your eyes, TAs. Must wear anti-hash goggles when working in the Boilermakers shop. Ah, so it's a boily shop, there we go. Also when working with or around welders out on plant. TAs without goggles report to the Boilermaker foreman. There we go.
more hosing and that. Again, I didn't think that there was going to be this much stuff just laying around still. It just blows me away. Do I keep looking around the lower floor or do I go up? I swear I just heard like a child laughing. That's a really weird and a terrible spot for me to hear that. Oh, someone's good on the VBs, that's the way. That's what I want to see. Well, that's a strange spot to put a locker. <laughs> Looks like something running computers and stuff. This could have been an office. When it's all stripped out like this, it's hard to imagine something like this being an office, but with all the blinds and that. Light sucks. Why didn't I get a better light? Man. All right, so this must be another elevator that looks like it's all water down there and it goes right the way to the top by the looks of things Just tons of scrap, absolutely everywhere. This place is riddled with scrap. All right, might go up to the, uh, go up to the next level. Oh, at least there's a bit more light up here. Feels friendlier. I like it. So I would say this would have been more so offices and things. With this flooring and the bigger windows and whatnot. Yeah, office shelves. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Carpet. Oh, yum. Soggy carpet. Let's wander down into where it gets dark. Yeah, nice picture, mate. Must be the blinds moving. Yeah, that's what it was, the body blinds. I want to know how people even worked here. I'm getting so lost. Someone's turned into the Hulk in there and decided to break their way through a bunch of walls for whatever reason. God, someone's gone to town on them walls.
Actually, I don't know what they would have done. They would have been stripping all the copper, all the copper piping out. What a fun way to make a dollar. Ow. shouldn't go there but I'm gonna so these are all the change rooms every time I seem to go into a dark spot I hear this um oh my god can't take a step I hear like a fucking child or Wait to turn around and see something. Hmm. I'll lock it, it's alright. Anything in them? Some more attempts at stripping some copper. So this looks like another office area, I'd say. Jesus. So I think the next level up is the roof, so let's just get up there because my next worry is um, I feel like I'm going to run out of um, battery on the GoPro because the GoPro loves to absolutely chew through battery super quickly. Another roof. I'm glad I opened that door. What is this, like an old lathe or something? No, what is this? If anyone knows what this is, put a comment down and let me know what this thing is. Old school bit of gear, that's for sure. And look at that, that's how close we are to the houses. Well, there's a lot of going up onto that bit, but I don't really want to go up onto that particular bit. But I will go into that door over there, actually. Surprise, surprise, another set of stairs. Absolutely choice view. The old conveyor belts. Right, so I'm not gonna walk across the old rusty conveyor, unfortunately because it's very thin and it's all rusting away and it drops down into all the uh, all the vats so I'm not here to kill myself so I'm not even going to risk it unfortunately I really don't trust these old floors look at that Hmm. 
interesting. What is all that on the roof? I've got no idea what that is. It almost looks like like ice or something. Hmm. This looks like dried up foam. I don't know. That's strange. I've never seen that before. All right. So there's been another fire in here. Someone's had a fire. Everything's all burnt. Got some new life growing. The Hulk's been punching holes through walls again. Okay. Life finds a way. Good job, we ever painted that one. Some bloody big overhead cranes. Someone's made a tie swing over here. The effort. Yeah, good job, guys. Very interesting the way this place is um, laid out. So much in that water. Check out how rusted up that pipe is. This place is an absolute maze, honestly. Birdies living their best life. You can see the bottom. It's not very deep. That door will slam shut later now and scare the crap out of me. Sun's going down. Probably got about I don't know, 20 minutes or something before the sun's gone. 